what up guys and welcome back to another one before we get going into today's video I want to give a huge shout out to Canadips for sponsoring today's video now a lot of you that have been here for a long time I gave up traditional dip a long time ago when I had some mouth issues now I want to tell you about Canadips because it's a CBD product and it's something that I've been loving it's a safe alternative to the chewy nasty uh the bad tasting spit cup old traditional dip out there yes your uh, woman will love this one because you don't have to spit you can swallow it and it's completely safe there is zero tobacco zero nicotine in canna dips and let me tell you it tastes amazing here are some of the uh, flavors that they have tangy citrus uh-huh uh mint uh-huh natural mint that's one of my favorites always i've always been a mint guy uh american spice and then we have tropical mango mm -hmm. and fresh wintergreen mint and wintergreen guaranteed my go-to but guys candidates uh it allows you to enjoy a tasty product that doesn't have all of those nasty downsides to it Seriously guys, if you want to give up the traditional dipping, I really urge you to give Canadips a try. I will link Canadips down at the top of the description below. Use code BOBBY20 right here to receive 20% off of your purchase. Guys, make the change. I really do urge you to uh, think about your health. I did and again, this is a very, very safe alternative. Let's get in to the video. Hello. Look at the hat. Dude, look at these. Dude, raw horsepower. <laughs> raw horsepower skeet throwing or de Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. You know where we're at. I hope you know where we're at. We are at Flint Oak. I have brought you guys here a lot of times, and uh, we're starting the day off with some uh, with some shooting. Some skeet shooting. Ooh, they got a little bolster. Dude, <laughs> got some umph. Yep, the boys are in town. Drew will be here tonight. Uh, Aaron, Gerald are here. Uh, guys, season starting up. And big shout out to Preston, Old P. Diddy, and Flint Oak for having us out just to kind of start our entire season. It's a kickoff with the boys. Uh, we're doing a pheasant hunt, and uh, I'm sure you can see the thumbnail. We probably got into them, but that's this evening. So we're skeet shooting here uh, in the morning, and then we're shooting them pheasants, chucker, uh, quail, this evening so a little bit of warm-up is what we're gonna need a lot of it a lot of yeah. a lot of bit of warm-up yeah we all got full chokes in that's not good i don't know what's in that one <laughs> well we're off and these are sweet yeah hold on to your biscuits aaron okay. <laughs> got gun holders everywhere yeah, these are right. sweet i'm gonna try to get warmed up on the old shooting range before we go uh chasing the pheasants but uh yeah everyone we all three have extra full chokes in. That's that's really gonna work well. It never does work well for me. I don't know why I always forget <laughs> to bring another choke. All right, this whole deal is way too advanced for us. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the first station and we can't figure it out. So each person just shoots two, right? So you get 10 shots at each station. Yeah. 10 shots, yeah, that sounds more accurate. Yeah, so you're gonna sit there and you're gonna have a report pair Report pair, report pair, yeah. report pair. So, so as soon as he him. shoots the first shell, right. you hit the second target. Yep. Okay. So and then he, this is so we're gonna shoot. We'll shoot at first. What? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just you just let her fling. No spray and pray. Up here? Yep. Go ahead and drill up to the rubber mount, Bob. Right here. Yep. All right. Pull. Okay. Pull. Did I get both? Yeah. Smoked them, baby. Pull. <laughs> Got one of the two. Not doing too bad. Doing better than I figured. Ready, pull. Ready, pull. 
Ah. Not doing too bad. I've missed three. Pull. You're good. We're done, right? So I missed four total, right? That wasn't bad. I, I did way better than I figured. So then you can put seven down there. <laughs> I think you're only supposed to put two shells in your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Who made these rules? <laughs> hey, if it was up to me, I'd have a tube on, okay? Seven out of ten, though. Seven out of ten. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh! Nice. Oh, man, this is sweet. This course is sweet. This is just station number one. Uh, I forget how many stations there are, but there's, I think there's like oh. seven or eight. Oh, 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 the old, ah, the old, the old Benelli screwball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We're ready. Gerald's up. Uh oh. Okay. Right. One for two on the first round. Uh huh. Well, we're tied. Me and old Big Rig at seven. <laughs> I was cheating with three shells, but <laughs> oh well. Ooh, nice, there it is. Nice! We'll look at uh, Gerald's gun after we're done, but he's using an over under 20 gauge. Oh, oh baby, God! You're gonna be quick on that first one. Yeah, it comes out in a hurry. You liking the old over and under 20? Well, so far, I've never shot it. Oh really? No, I won this with at a DU banquet with Kurt. Oh, oh, well, I, I got you. Pull. Yeah, I interrupted you and messed you up on your first one there. You threw up my groove. I'll leave you alone. All right. Well, here we are. This is station number two. Uh, uh huh. Oh, that's two. Where are they throwing out here, boys? Oh wow, they Holy come God. at you. In the trees. Well, that's yeah. cool. The first one, though. Oh. Our hit button. These stations are sweet, aren't they? Yeah. You gotta cool. like see where the clays are coming from. Yeah, for sure. And it's not where you think yeah. at all. <laughs> Ready? So both of yours will come. They'll be through this gap. What does he have to go by the box up there? Oh. Is that where the mat is? Up front. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, what? Oh. That was fun. Oh well, we're done shooting. We're gonna have to tally it up to see who won that deal. Who won? We'll get the clipboard. We're gonna get the clipboard. Okay, we got a duel going on. That was a competition. That was a stiff competition. How many? Uh, how many stations did we do? Eight. We did eight. Eight, yeah. Who do you think won? I really think Aaron might have won. Aaron might have won? Aaron might have won. I don't think I won. That's two stations. What's the winner get? The winner's got to get something. Uh oh, old P did. He's tallying it up. Gerald. Gerald no, won? sorry. Aaron. This pretty close. Gerald tied. Oh! Aaron and Gerald tied. Tiebreakers this afternoon, boys. Look at that. I took fourth. Dalton in Jeez. second, you in fourth. I started off really strong and then it all just kind of went to poop. That, man, it's hard. It's a it's tough course. It's not like course. shooting real birds. It is a very tough basket. course. It's totally different. Tell them about it. How many stations it is? Uh, 10 stations. At one time, it was the number one in the world. Country. It's got that one of the highest towers in the country. 162 foot tall. Wow. Did you guys? I wasn't there when you guys shot that we station. Shot that one, was yeah. it hard? It was pretty tough. I did good at the beginning though. I, yeah, there's I some. Killed that one. There's some threes on here on that one. <laughs> Which one is that? It'd be <laughs> three and four both throw from that deal. Yeah, six. Hey, you shot good. You're good at the long range ones. Yeah. The old extended full, you know. All right, time to go eat. You hungry? I'm very hungry. This is uh, the dining area. Beautiful. Check that out. Check that out. Gorgeous. Can I do 
Looking snazzy out here, boys. Bring me some tomatoes if you want some. Black ones? Okay. What is that? That is the bison tacos. Bison tacos. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. This is what I settled with. This is pheasant gumbo. Amazing. You got the bison tacos too? Literally yep. everybody got tacos besides you. You did too? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what you're you're using? Oh, at least once. At least once? Yeah. Show show all the people at home. Hold what about her up. that thing during turkey season? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Little break barrel, four ten single shot. I don't even know what it is. What, a hundred bucks? A hundred dollars and you have a twenty two barrel that comes with it. Oh, oh really? Yeah. It's interchangeable. What brand? Braztec, LC, Miami, Florida. <laughs> Made in Brazil. Made in Brazil. <laughs> what are you shooting? Me, I'm not shooting. You're not, oh yeah, you're shooting the camera. Mm -hmm. Slingshot. Yep, slingshot. What uh? What are you t tell the people at home? What are you shooting? <laughs> uh, I got I got my safety glasses on. I'll be shooting a 12 gauge Benelli. 12 gauge Benelli. SB2. Yeah, SB2. It doesn't. I like only light. shoot twice. They don't like light rounds, no. I don't think. It, it doesn't know. kick it, it kick no. the bolt back hard enough. No. What are you shooting on? Shooting a 20 gauge Beretta. Ooh, baby. Mm. That sounds nice and sexy. Shanzy. <laughs> what are you shooting on? Benelli Super Sport. 12 gauge? 12 gauge. You ain't messing around. No. Nope. You said I need nope. it. That's Gerald. I need it. I need all the help I can get. Good? Yeah. Look at this. Ooh, thank you, P. Did. Yep. Uh, this is one of the Lodge's guns, a Fab Arms Orvis uh, break barrel 28 gauge over and under here. That's sweet. Nice gun. gauge. Straight Dude. shooting gun? I've never shot a 28 gauge. Really? No. Uh, they've wanted me to for a long time. 28 yeah. gauge has been one of the most requested guns to use. That's like the premier quail gun. Oh, really? Yeah. Like high end. That's the idea. Like Because it's fat, they're fast loads and heavy loads, better than a 410. P or feet per second. Yeah, some of them. These ones are slower that we're shooting. Are they? But here we go. We're going to get out to the field and give her a whirl. Time for time for the safety talk. Yep. yep. Safety yes. talk for every hunt. Mr. Ty. Ty's the best. Ty's going to take it away. Give us a rundown. Uh, all right. First off, uh, blaze orange hat and sunglasses in the field at all times. Once we get out here, we'll uh, get lined up off Travis or I's fingertips in the field. We'll have one to the right, one to the left. I've got a three gun party, so there will be a gun in the middle with me. And uh, once we get lined up, we'll go ahead and load our shotguns and uh, push through the field. We'll be hunting pheasant, quail, partridge, both hens and cocks are legal uh any other species is off limits this afternoon uh we'll be hunting behind pointing dogs once these dogs establish a point we're going to maintain our straight line we're going to push right through the point until these birds are flushed we want them to get a little bit above the horizon before we uh, push our safeties off and harvest these birds uh shooting windows for you guys generous it's going to be pretty generous for the two gun party you're going to be shooting 10 to 2 straight forward Swing to your outside and 10 to 2 to the rear, the three gun party. The guy in the middle, you're going to be shooting 10 to 2 straight forward. And uh, we don't want any loaded guns swinging through the middle of the party. So if something were to fly to the rear, just make sure we sweep our guns to the outside mm -hmm. and uh, to shoot to the rear. Get a good mark on down birds. I may not see something go down, especially on a cubby rise, whatever the case may be. Get a good mark. Travis or I, or I will get dogs in there and uh, get those birds cleaned up. We'll continue hunting. No shooting on the ground illegal in the state of Kansas. Definitely not permitted here at Flint Oak, so uh, won't allow any of that. And uh, never be tempted to take a low shot at a settling bird or a crippled bird out in front of us. Our dogs are working tremendously hard. Policy at Flint Oaks, if you shoot a dog, you just purchase that dog. So by letting these birds get up above the horizon, take all that risk out of play. Uh, if a bird were to flush wild, simply put, dog didn't point it for whatever given reason. If it flushes, as long as it's above the horizon in a good safe shooting window, we'll go ahead and harvest that bird. And uh, no gambling on bird numbers and no alcohol in the field. Any questions, P. Diddy? No, I don't think so. Nothing. First All good. Heard that. All good. First time I've given it this afternoon. Uh, I've got Gerald. Tell me your name again. Dalton. Dalton. And Lauren. Lauren. Uh, 
do three killers and uh, Damn right. two killers yeah. rather. Oh, <laughs> pea shooter 410. That's all you're rocking. You're not the first first round. I'm just taking this. <laughs> pea shooter McGee. Yeah. Oh yeah, boy, you're gonna have a handful with these three. Yeah, yeah. I already got a handful. I guarantee you, Gerald. So they're in the other group. It's just me and Aaron. Me and you, brother. Yeah, buddy. 12 gauge and a 28. Yes, sir. Uh, Gerald definitely just shot a, oh, a sure. pheasant with a 410. For sure. We heard it. And yeah. they all erupted. They went, ah! <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay. You got to give us your rundown real quick. Rundown real quick. Yeah, you he, you were on the deer hunt. Yeah. With, with P. Diddy. Yeah. When he yeah. didn't shoot very well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. All right. Little, uh, I have never shot a 28 gauge. I've heard they're amazing, fast little load. This is a uh, over and under. I'm not very good with under and overs. I tried to shoot skeet one day with my, my buddy Wade's gun and I was not good. So let's roll. I'm just gonna say, I hope I can do it up here and shoot good with this bad boy because she is a sweetie. Watch you guys, watch you guys. Yep. I couldn't, uh, I should have said that would have been a close shot. I don't know if there would have been anything left of that bird. Is that a quail? Chucker. Chucker. Came right at me. So the other group is hunting behind us. That's why I couldn't fire that way. Just gotta be cautious, gotta be aware. This is awesome, guys. Flint Oak is no joke. The real deal. If you wanna come out here and do this, make sure when you call them uh, that you say, hey, Bobby referred me, just so they know. Boy, howdy, that sun is hot. I can't believe how hot it is. Oh, he's on point. There we go. They're pointing up here, boys. We got something. Oh no! Oh, hoo hoo! What happened on the first shot? The open Nelly. Oh no! I had to rack the first shell. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that's a bad boy right there. <laughs> he got smoked. Look at the feathers. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was sweet. Well, I got to say, 28 gauge has some oomph. Wow. Wow. What a gun. Dude, that is a beauty. No lie. Guys, if you like the old 20 gauge, I wish I had a camera on the barrel, but all mine quit working. So if you guys like it, please, please smash the thumbs up button, guys. Come on now. Let's get this video 3,000 likes. It's been a while. It's been a while. And this is one of the most requested videos for the last probably three years of the 28 gauge hunt. This is a good operating gun. I love it. Smooth gun. Back to that one. Okay. I'll take CJ here. Push on up here as well. Oh, right here, right here. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. This thing slaps, dude. Dude, I mean, it, it pounds them. 
Holy cow, there goes my rooster. Second bird for the 20 gauge. And boy, howdy, does this thing just have some oomph. Oh my. Dude, I love this gun. Modified choke out of the bottom barrel first. That is sweet. Them dogs are awesome. Yeah, yeah, keep going, Aaron. I'm on. I'm on this side of the tree. I'm right. I'm on this side of the tree. Nice shot. Oop. Got him. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go get this bird. Shot him through the trees. That was awesome. Pretty sure that was a quail. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that was a shot. Can't believe that. Yeah, I'm on this side of the tree again. We got another point in the same tree. Cubby of them in here. Oh my God. I just shot that at five yards. Oh, what happened? What happened? So that did, it only shot the, it did, wouldn't shoot the top barrel. Yeah, I think you got to select double. Know what I mean? No, I had two in. Oh, really? I wonder if that one dot is one. Yep. That's what I'll do. I fixed it. Oh, hold on. I got a bird here. Oh, look at that bad boy there. Yeah. Yeah. It's been forever since I have shot a quail. Thank you. Oh yeah, he's in there somewhere. I didn't wing that one. Hard for me. First quail of the year, first quail for me for a while. That's awesome. That's your first quail ever? Holy cow. Wow. Isn't that awesome? I am in uh, two pheasant, two quail in the bag. That is uh, freaking awesome. How much fun is this? This is awesome. You guys got to come check out Flint Oak. It's uh, Preston's, uh, Preston's whole family own it. So it's pretty special out here. Huh. Nice shot. Good shooting. Man, having dogs is so nice. Holy cow. Oh boy. Oh. It's still up here. Holy cow. Yep. We got one up here too. Yeah, yeah, there's a pheasant. Nice shooting. <laughs> I think there's a quail up here. The one that I missed earlier landed up here too. I'm gonna get this bird. There we go. Another good looking pheasant down. There should be a quail right here, I thought. Maybe. Right there. Yep, I knew he was right there. I gotta go find that bird before I lose him. Oh, that was awesome. Pheasant and a quail down just like that. We've been walking for a little bit. All right, where you at, buddy?
Oh, I'm back here somewhere. Right there. There we go. All right. We are knocking them out, boys and gals. This is awesome. If you're, if you're liking the upland hunt, I personally think it's an awesome change of pace. This is so much fun. There's my pheasant. There we go. Look at that beauty. Yeah, look at the tail on them. Gorgeous. That's some good looking birds right there, boys. One thing about upland guys, always stay in the line with each other. Don't be real far or real far, you know, don't be real far back or real far forward. Yep. Wow, that was, it came right, how do you, and just haul in the mail, golly, whoo, he made me look like a rook, holy moly, dude, that was so close, so fast, I don't know how to, sheesh. Okay. There he is. <laughs> this 28 gauge is just something. You get, dude, you get him out past 20, that pattern is just deadly. My goodness. Oh, he's pointing again up here. Right up ahead of me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He definitely lost some tail feathers on that deal. My God, he got out like a rocket. Yeah, they ain't sitting real tight. I wasn't expecting that for sure. I thought you were shooting, so I didn't like hurry the first shot. Well, I, I thought we were looking here to come across here. <laughs> I was looking the wrong way. <laughs> Man, this is just hot action. Crazy out here. You got a point over here, they said. That's gonna be Aaron's bird, I can't shoot. Oh yeah, right up here, there he is. Get him, nice! Hey, if it takes two, it don't matter, baby. Good job. Aaron's on the board with a pheasant. Is that your first pheasant today? Yeah. Yep, heck yeah. Ten four. Nice shot. All right, you gotta introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, so, so I'm Travis Blend, preserve manager out here at Flint Oak. Uh, been here a little over three years. Fourth hunt season at the ranch. Uh, I hunt behind all English pointers out here at the ranch. Right now we're running the, the two males I got, a uh, bull three-year-old, and then uh, CJ, he's 10 this year. 10. Yeah. Still That's going awesome. hard. Yeah. Awesome dogs. Here we go. Point. Oh, we got a point way up top there. You got a point up front. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. We both double tapped him. Oh my, that was dirty. He's already cleaned and processed. Oh my. Holy cow. Well, he's definitely, that boy definitely, you know, yickety yackety. I'm out. Well, Holy cow. Did he? Did he come right over my head? Oh, he's like this far. <laughs> big swings. Big misses, boys. Well, I don't know. He might have gotten that one. Not yeah, I might. Yeah. I know. I think I might have. I'll go. I'll go take a gander. I got to go find my bird. Let's see if I. I think I. I'm pretty sure I hit him. We're going to have to go find out. 
Should be right over this tree. Right, but uh, yep, I got him. Right on the he landed right on the road. Look at that. Quail number four for Bob. I thought he got away. Yeah, I mean, it really didn't look like he didn't even see feathers. <laughs> no. Right there. That was a headshot right there, boys. <laughs> it was guaranteed. Oh my goodness, I love this gun. I got I got to buy one. The wife is going to be mad at me, and it's going to be in the store. I can't not buy one. All you guys out there that have been telling me to get a 28 gauge, y'all are right. They are a sweet, sweet operating machine right there. Little creek that runs through here. Beautiful out here at Flint Oak. He did. He did. Another quill. Yeah, I got him. Right on this. Yeah, he's dead. Right there. Dead bird. Two shots. Got her done. Dead bird. Dead bird. There we go. He got him. Good dog. Guys, you got to uh, you got to smash the thumbs up for these dogs. They are awesome. Wow, so much work putting these dogs in time. Like, like you said, one's 10, 10 years old, still out here getting it done. Something to see. Start walking. We'll see you eventually. His head's towards that tower. <laughs> he's debating. <laughs> Wheels are turning. <laughs> I'm wondering what he's gonna say next. Well. I'm just wondering why we're switching it up. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. You're always wondering something. Yeah, but now the count ain't gonna be accurate. I mean, oh nothing. yeah, true. Yeah. Well, true. Be accurate. Oh, that's fine. Just, just saying. Well, hey, no. Hey, no. No. Just saying. All right, all right. Here we are, old G wagon. We switched people around a little bit. We just got done with the 410. You went. I love it. You went 100% uh, on your shooting, right? 90%. 90% missed yeah. one. Wow, what old you, how many did you shoot? I think we killed like 16 or 17. I yeah. shot, I shot 10 times, I got nine. Dang. Uh, so you take a little break, you get a drink, you get a Snickers in your belly, so you ain't hangry, and now we're back out for round two. Oh, oh my gosh. Get him? Nice shot. Oh, another point. One down. Gerald's on the board. Nice oh, shot. That's that oh, I feathered him. So, I missed bad. I wonder where the hell he came from. Did this one go down? A rooster got up? Oh, yeah, she just got it. Oh, well, rooster down. You're on the board. You got three birds down. I got nothing. I swear. That bird went literally right here. God. Two of them. Yeah, if you want to walk them right here. Right there. Low, low bird. Nope, low bird. Right there. Got yeah. Man, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That was real cool. Dead. Dead. Let them up. They get up out of this tall grass like that. I mean, they're right there. Should be another one in here. There you go, Bob, Bob. Whoa. Oh, you might have winged him. I was not ready for him to be behind me. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of double teamy action. <laughs> Did I beat you? Did I beat you? <laughs> First chucker of the day. Here you go, Peggy. Come on. First chucker is down Peggy for here. me. Peggy here. Come on, here. 
I had a girl. Alright. Another point. We just tagged me and girl tag teamed a pheasant and got one. Didn't get the camera on. Check this out. We got a point, but we're in some planted Milo in here. Nice shot, Gerald. Quell down. What time is it? You know? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. You can feel it cooling off. Oh, we got a good breeze finally. Cooling off. I can't believe how warm it got. Oh, she's on point. She smells something. All right. It is beautiful out. Finally getting a good breeze. Oh, up there, pheasant, pheasant up there by that tree up there. See it running. Two of them, two of them, Gerald. He down. There's one more in there. There we go. Cut, dropping the shells on the ground. Should be one more up in heel. a double teamer right there Woo! dust city up in the trees i get the camera on for that but i just smoked a quail real right there oh that's the hardest shot in the world they're cruising that close dang it more in there That is such a hard shot when they're that close going that fast. It's landed again. You might, I think you, he landed kind of hard. You might have got him, girl. Breeze really knocked off. It's not helping the dogs. When there's just a good little breeze, they can get downwind of the area they're supposed to be hunting. It's smelling a lot better when it's, uh, stale like this makes it a little tough. Well, there we go. Oh, low shooting. There's a bunch more right here. Okay. Just watch the dogs here. Right there. And up there. Shoot. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what I was on safe. All right. There we go. My battery's getting ready to die on this GoPro. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, got him on the second shot, G-Wagon. Yeah, he's down right there in front of that tree. If it dies, I'm sorry, but... Boy, how is this fun. Good, good. Oh, there it is. <laughs> They knew they were on it. Well, the first time I've ever been up here. This is sweet. The view's awesome. Yeah, unreal. Overlooking the lake. This is fun because they do they do long range courses, shooting courses out here. And there's a target out to a thousand yards, 750, and it goes basically across this whole valley. Crazy. You can see the targets from here. They have uh, awesome stands to shoot off of. Obviously, as much accommodations and stuff as there is, we needed our own water tower. Yeah. And it doubles as a Verizon and AT&T cell tower. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So we had, used to have no service out here until, I don't know, a, it was a long time ago, probably 10 years ago, AT&T, we got a hold of them and they put a booster on there for us. Dude, so awesome. And what's crazy, there's, we can't get Wi-Fi out here either. So there's satellites on top that shoot back towards the town and they oh. shoot internet back to us oh. so this thing we use it for i mean it it's a lifesaver serves a lot of purposes yeah that's awesome but as you can see 
that's the main lodge down there we're all the way up on top of the hill that's why it makes for such a long awesome long range course mm -hmm. this is sweet yeah shooting over the whole lake this holds all the thing we're on holds all the tr water treatment stuff oh really sun's going down we're getting ready to do some things have some fun and relax uh but I, i'm here with ty i want him to kind of uh describe to you guys the controlled shooting and what you're allowed to shoot and and all that uh, here at Flint Oak, we uh, operate as a controlled shooting area, which means we're uh, licensed by the state of Kansas to uh, hunt upland game birds, and we can be outside the state regulated limits. Uh, so controlled shooting area allows uh, you to harvest uh, anything you see in the field and uh, be completely legal. And uh, permits, documentation, everything across the board makes us legal operating through a controlled shooting area. Right. I know that there was uh, the first time that we came out here, there was a lot of questions on the comments. People were like, well, you shot over your limit in Kansas. Like, the state regulations do not pertain here to Flint Oak, like Ty, like Ty said. So It's uh, completely legal through uh, a different state of uh, set of state regulations. So it's 100% uh, legal, and uh, everything we're doing out here is by the book. So. Right, by the book. And what, this, what Flint Oak provides is you can come out here and bet your bet your dollar that you're gonna have a lot of fun. You're gonna shoot birds and it's the most natural sitting possible. It's beautiful, you're walking through timber, you're walking through tall grass, through milo, the entire deal. What are you doing? Get ready to take some pictures. Oh, all right, we better close this thing. Yeah. Why don't you close it, dude? Yeah, thanks for coming out here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to close it. Come on, man. Uh, They're counting on you. Uh. But until next time. Oh. <laughs> well, really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. The pheasant hunting has always been one of the top requested videos for me to do. But all of the boys are here, all the guides, uh, Bert the chef, we're all getting at it, opening and unboxing new decoys, blinding in A-frames. Again, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Canadips for sponsoring today's video. A uh, product like theirs, probably gonna save some lives out there, to be honest, because uh, the traditional dips, there's a lot of unhealthy things about it. Just like I quit chewing a long time ago, I've been chewing Canadips now. You know, it's not chewing, it's just something good that's in your mouth that kind of kicks the habit. I, I'm just, the really the only reason I have to have something in here is just because, I guess it, I'm addicted to having something there. It's not even about the nicotine. CBD, it relieves some stress, calms me down, and it's definitely a product that I'm going to stick to and that I can stand behind. Guys, give it a try. Use Bobby20 at checkout at Canadips.com. I will link Canadips down at the top of the description, guys. But thank you all for being here. Until next time.